The movie is Hubie Halloween. It'll be released on Netflix next Wednesday, October 7th, and my co-star, Adam Sandler, joining me on the program. Good morning, Sandman. It's already a hit. It's it, already a big hit. How do you know? I just got it. You get a feeling. It's it's When I have a, a hit uh, coming, I walk differently. I got a little, little uh, the bones feel better. The uh, I hear better. Um, I react better to like, hey, Sandman on the street. I, I'll go, hey, what's up? When I got something coming out that's not going to do well, there's the bones feel dead. There's no hop. I'm flat footed. I hear, hey, Sandman, and I do this like, oh, no, yeah. no. <laughs> you know, it's a hit. Uh, you got a beard on for those who are uh, listening on the radio. Is uh, is this quarantine or is this uh, for the next movie? Next movie beard. Uh, but it, it, it's pretty it's it's it, I'm getting used to it. You, did you ever grow a full uh what goes on with you? No, it good? nothing. Can you? Uh, probably not. But, I never knew I could until this this moment. But you seem kind of hairy. No, there's no hair on my body. None. Ex- except on my, well, my eyebrows. Prove it. Take off your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to give me six months. And I'll... <laughs> but when no, you it... did, when you did uh, Longest Yard, that yeah. you had to get in football shape. Is that as good of shape as you've been oh, in in a movie? Best shape was Zohan. Zohan. Ooh, okay. I was running six six miles a day, like you. You crazy man! How far do you run? No, you no, run? I don't run anymore. I just do. Oh, yeah. I do cycling. I, I bike. That, does that hurt the knees at all? Uh, it depends, but um, it, it's a lot better on them than running six miles. Let's put it that way. You know what I bought yesterday? Uh, the the mirror the mirror exercise thing. Oh, oh, so you, I just want to. I'm not going to exercise. I just want to look in the mirror. <laughs> but you, for 45 minutes, like you're going to sign up for a class where you just look at yourself. I'm, and I, I'm the coach, the, the trainer is going to go. Come on, you got to do something, stand there. Quit looking at yourself. No, I wanted. I bought that thing. I wanted to see it look like fun. Um, all right. So the movie is uh, coming out next Wednesday. Let me uh, give people an idea what this is all about. This is uh, the resident. Can I do sound effects while you're talking? Can I do like music behind you while you're discussing it? Like, okay. All right. Hold, hold on. Hold on here. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Hubie Dubois, Adam Sandler, thanklessly spends every Halloween making sure the residents of his hometown, Salem, celebrate safely and play by the rules. But this year, an escaped criminal and a mysterious new neighbor have Hubie on high alert. When people start disappearing, it's up to Hubie to convince the police and townsfolk that the monsters are real and only he can save them. Hubie Halloween will be released on Netflix next Wednesday, October 7th. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's gonna be fun, man. That movie's just pure fun. I oh, can't. I can't. Did you get to see the whole thing, or only your part? Only my part. In fact, let me play the part um, for people. On uh, if you're watching on Peacock, you get to see it. But if you're listening on radio, this is the scene. Part of the scene that I'm in with Adam Sandler and Hubie Halloween. Here again to talk about Halloween safety is <laughs> Salem's official volunteer Halloween helper. Hubert Dubois. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hello, Webster Elementary School. I am not a ghost, but I play one on TV. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, Plan. My name is Hubie Dubois, and I am here to tell you that Halloween is fun, but we must stay out of the danger zone. Hey, hey, hey! Let him speak! He's a human being! <laughs> and then right after that, chaos ensues Man, in the lunchroom. Was- that was the best. Remember, first couple of takes, you would say it quietly, and I said, "Danny boy, let let the room hear you, man." I know. And, you, and then, you, but you always let me have a little bit of room there where I I get to yell out, "He's a human being." 
Oh my God, that was my favorite, man. I love that. I love that. And then that was quite a food fight. Yes, it was. Oh, I didn't I didn't want to give it away. I, oh, okay. No food fight. No food. Fight. Okay. Yeah. So it could be a food fight. And then I got to yeah. the point where I yeah. just thought, and you always do a, a, a number of takes. So I started grabbing food and throwing at you when yes. you were trying to get out of the room. So a lot of yeah. fun. Some of the people in it, uh, let's see, you got uh, Julie Bowen, you got yes. Ray Liotta, you yes. got Michael Chiklis, uh, Maya Rudolph, and uh, Kevin James, uh, Rob yes. Schneider, Liam yes. Neeson, uh, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis. You got him in here, too. He uh, came back for this one. It was cool. If you're going to come Danny. back for a role, this would be the role. Danny Boy plays the uh, cafeteria lady, and, and uh, I appreciate him showing up and doing that No, stuff. I'm a principal. No, I meant Danny Day-Lewis. Oh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Oh, I thought you yeah, meant yeah. me. Yeah, so I'm... No, you're the principal of the school, and you were very nice to Hubie to, to tell the that I was a human being and, and for everyone to be nicer to me. I appreciate that. Uh, so uh, let me see. This comes out next Wednesday. And yeah. now there's a couple things I need to bring up. First of all, yeah. you have a surprise for one of the Danettes and you have oh, a yeah. story about your aunt and Joe Namath. Yeah. I'm sure my uncle Michael's listening. right Okay. Now. So let's, let's do the aunt story. So when I, I heard you on Kimmel and yes. you started to tell the story. And then when I talked to you, what was it last night or the night before? Yes, yes. And I said, you have to bring up the story about your aunt. And aunt, aunt so when, when is this when your aunt meets or hooks up with Joe Namath? Uh, well, this was, I was a kid. Um, my, I was probably like uh, seven or eight. And um, my uncle uh, was very close with my aunt. They were married and madly in love and they were open about everything. And uncle Michael was so carefree about it. He's like, Bobby uh, dated uh, Joe Namath before we started dating. And we were all like, you met Joe Namath. And he's like, no, dated him, dated him. So <laughs> we were like, oh my God. And so my uncle literally, he bought me and my brother Scott two number 12 sweatshirts and we used to wear, wear Namath. And he was like, yeah, we always pull for Namath. And then as an old man, I was like, boy, my uncle was kind of cool about it. <laughs> my aunt's past. I would be steaming. I'd be steaming every day if if Jackie was <laughs> said to me right before. By the way, me and Joe Namath, we had it going on. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel though if you found out your wife dated Tom Brady? I would get it. I would get it. There's a yeah. I would say. I'd say you should, you, we should raise we should have raised that kid. We should have had that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever talk to Joe Namath about your aunt? I don't think so. I met <laughs> Namath one time. I probably that's all that was going through my head. But but honestly, my uncle was my uncle six six, and he he looked a little like Joe Namath, and so. <laughs> People, when he would visit New Hampshire, they would come up to him and he was like a big athletic dude. And they'd be like, are you? He'd go, Joe Namath? No, I'm not. But my wife dated him. <laughs> Dated. I like, did you uh, watch your Jets last night? I watched uh, for a while and uh, I got, and I, then I, I had work to do. I felt it going. I was getting texts from a friend of mine who likes the Raiders and kept saying, God, dude, thank you. would you please beat Denver for us? And uh, and I, it wasn't going right, huh? Would you ever want to buy a team or be part of a group? I think about that sometimes, but then it's like not fun at all. You're just nerve or nervous wreck. First of all, I I I wouldn't be able to talk, tell the players what I think's going on. I like I like the players too much. I get too excited. I, I wouldn't be able to say like we got to do this, this, and that. I would, I would be like, hey man, leave the guys alone. They're working hard. So no, no. I mean, I, it would be it, maybe twenty years ago. I used to think like that. Now I just get, I, I just like watching the teams. He's Adam Sandler. The movie is Hubie Halloween. It'll be coming out on Netflix next Wednesday, October seventh. And uh, oh, what's the rating on this? It's probably PG thirteen. It's like the uh, grown ups. It's like grown ups. You know, it's supposed to be for everybody. And it's I mean, it's a little couple of things in there that uh, your real young kids will get say, what did that mean? But uh, it's pretty, pretty friendly. So my nude scene stays in or is it out? 
Yeah, yeah, we shot at the proper angle, just at home for the home viewers. We got Danny at the proper <laughs> angle. You just you feel the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have the surprise for one of the Danettes that you would like to reveal right now? Uh, first of all, I love all the Danettes, and I, you're all invited. Uh, my uh, and Danny, you're in the in the. Uh, I'm asking you to be in the movie also. You and three of the Danettes will be in one scene, and then uh, because it's a Philly story. Me and Locker and we were discussing this. Uh, I, I said, "How about uh, McLovin? Is is more of a uh, he's a Philly boy, and he knows his Phil. And it's supposed to be that a local Philadelphia uh, reporter uh, is talking to um, uh, Wancho. Wancho Her- Hernan Gomez is the star of the movie with me from Spain, and he's." Um, he he. Uh, yeah, you don't have to give this story, but it's it's right. a basketball movie. It's a Good basketball. stuff's going on for Wancho, uh, whose character's name is Bo Cruz, and a man by the name of Mick Lovin, if he says yes, asks a few questions to to me and Wancho, and he gets he gets he gets a close up. The rest of the Danettes kind of just get a wide shot. So Mick wow. Lovin, um, is this an official offer to Mick Lovin? This is an official offer. Uh, okay. Now this what, is what, this is speaking what, role. Wow. Speaking role, yes. Okay. What what's the answer? Well, I am so flattered. I'm gonna have my agent call you right after oh, this interview is no, done. No. <laughs> no, of course. Are you kidding me? You okay. I'm so up. Up. Yeah, yeah. We we love you, man. Ever since you swatted one of my shots in that little basement we played in. Oh, well, you're so mad that that guy called travel on you, too. Yeah, you carry the ball, you travel. You not carry the you, ball. You, Wancho, Wancho said he likes my game. He says I move. I haven't yet. He, he only saw clips, but he says I got I move nice with the ball. That's not a carry. He says that's a, a little old school, cool move. He called no, it a cool move. No, it's not. It's not. You carry the ball. You're too. You're you grew up in the Catholic <laughs> League where the CYO refs were blowing the whistle constantly. I grew up with men going, "Yeah, Sandman, do that." <laughs> and and when are we when are we filming this movie? So we start in Philly now. Um, what the the cost of Corona? We're doing this crazy thing where we're shooting the non basketball stuff for five or six weeks now. And then uh, uh, in in August, we pick up the rest of the movie where we the, the guys can have contact and uh, and uh, hopefully life's good by then. And, so, and, it, and this is always awkward to bring up because I yeah. think we did have an agreement after yeah. 20 movies, I got a car. But I yeah. like I don't want to ruin the surprise, but yeah. I, I do sometimes have to remind you. Yeah. So... No, no, no. The, 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 I just have to do the paperwork and I have to talk to the, the dealership. Like what uh, kind of car are you thinking would really be symbolic of our relationship and all the time and effort and performances I've given you? So many cars are going through my head right now. Um, I know you respect the planet, so you don't like gas guzzlers, but uh, you're, you, you're, you get nervous in the electric car because there's no noise and you always need your I do. Noise. I do like noise. Uh, I think we're just going to go with, we'll go with the Chevron. We're going to go with the Chevron. Okay. I like and it. It's got a hatchback, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it's good for you to store, you know, the, the Danettes in when you guys go on your road trips. That I is think awesome. We're gonna have- That's awesome. Yeah. When do you want me to shoot my scene for this new movie? I, do I have to uh, go to Philly or can I stay here in the man cave? I think think i want you to stay in the man cave to make your life easy and and we'll send a crew there and shoot you guys it's 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 going to be you uh um and the fellas so paulie paulie seaton and fritzy are going to be here with me and we'll shoot they get they get to stay there uh uh, mclovin has to visit his parents in philly because they'll know he'll be coming okay all right yes mclovin do i get uh like my own trailer how's this work i'm not used to this kind of starring role you just well, you they don't make them your size. What are you? You're six five or something, right? Six four, yeah. Six four. So they don't have trailers for you, but you're totally welcome to sit in the Chevron the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. I, now you're on Fallon tonight. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna record that later today. Apparently, some of the everyone's buzzing about how good I'm gonna do. I'm I'm pretty excited. I and I think they're right. 
I'll be excellent. And Are then, you uh, going to, will you give me a shout out tonight on Fallon? I'm going to let everybody know, yes. And I don't understand why you're not on, on IMDb. And I, went, I, I go to the movie where I, yeah. IMDb, and it's got everybody in there. There's, It's got people who aren't even on camera, and no. and, and I'm not in there. Yes, Paul. Uh, Adam, the, uh, the theory is that Dan was such a good actor that IMDb didn't realize it was Dan Patrick, and they weren't sure who it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes the Sandman gets threatened by Dan. <laughs> I do. So I'll put a, I, put a call I, in and say, it would be great if you left him off the IMDb. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm disgusted by that because you are an, uh, you were great. Well, how many days did we shoot that? One or two? Uh, I think it was one. I I like to get it done. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I'm a one. In, I was a one and done before the one and done. Like I just come in, steal the movie, and then I leave. You you were unbelievable that day. You were so funny, and and uh, you do you belong on the Thank list. You. I would put you way above, like Let Rob Schneider. I got to be above Rob Schneider. Yes, yes. I'd say about four steps ahead of Schneider. Would I be ahead of Michael Chiklis? No. Okay. Uh, maybe give it a little bit more thought. Um, <laughs> Kevin James. Yes. About a, a bag of, bag of, I know. I know that 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 uh, contest has been around. No, 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 yet. no. Kevin James and I are great now. Good. Good. We I, are. I, we're great. Uh, Steve Buscemi. Yes, you're you're better than. I mean, you're a better actor. <laughs> than we all know that. The Bush knows that. That is. That is true. Uh, I put you right, right under Leota, Leota, Danny Patrick, okay, and the rest. Okay, all right. So I'll tune into Fallon tonight. I'll get the kids together, and we'll make sure that we're all watching. And don't don't let them down like you normally do. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say your name. <laughs> uh, does Jimmy ever come on your show? Um, Todd is Jimmy Fallon. I don't believe he has, but we uh, hope to have him on at some point in the near future. <laughs> yeah, he'd be, he'd Shut be up. Great on your show. That was nice. Yeah, That's put nice. in a good word for us for Jimmy Fallon. There. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it all done tonight. And and uh, but Danny, yes. I'm very yeah. excited for everyone to watch this Halloween movie. Halloween is a little odd this year, and uh, this movie is a full on comedy, but it's in a slightly scary. Uh, and so. Uh, ki kids who watch it might get a little nervous, but they'll be able to power through it, man. Huh. It, it's actually like a nice thing because my daughters can't stand scary movies. They run out of the room and all that stuff. And this, they feel brave because they make it through the scary moments. Hubie Halloween released on Netflix, of course, Wednesday, October 7th. Sandman. Danny, Danny, Thank you, buddy. before I go, when yeah. you're sitting, when you're sitting. Yes. Is it possible for your stomach to look good at this age? No. Or is it just standing? Standing, you can get away with it. Sitting, it's terrible, right? Yeah, yeah. So even if you don't really have a gut, you still yes. create... Not, not saying you have a gut, right? but you may give the appearance that you have a gut. It's terrible because I used to sit and put my socks on and be so excited how great it looks. <laughs> and now, now I tend to lay down to put, put my socks on. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sam. Man. Miss you, buddy. All Love right. you. And thank you for everything, everybody. That's Adam Sandler. He got an official movie role for McLovin and the Danettes as well. Hubie Halloween next Wednesday on Netflix.